When it comes to survival fights of the wild, they are outright brutal and strategic. It isn't just about understanding the strength and the weaknesses of the opponent, but also using the perfect timing and attacking positions to their advantage. Hang on to see how some animals tackle their enemies in the wild. Descendants of the Kraken Depending upon the species, octopus can be from one of the most fragile marine animals to the most vicious predators under the deep blue seas. Usually, most small species of octopus, while attempting to learn the art of camouflage, end up making mistakes and turning into easy meals. Even their natural defense mechanism of releasing jets of ink to confuse the predators doesn't help them get away. But as they grow bigger and improve their ability of blending around with their surroundings, their attacks turn more effective. These multi-legged marine animals turn into the living definition of krakens, as they're able to use the advantage of their strength and weaknesses of their prey, like eagles and seagulls, by pulling them underneath. Octopus, upon reaching up their complete size, learning the art of camouflage and weaknesses of their predators and prey, are then able to even attack the sharks in a swift and deadly manner by restraining the jaws and constricting the body with their tentacles. Apart from using the coral reefs to blend in, coconut octopus are one of the species of its kind that are found to have intelligence far exceeding most other aquatic animals, especially when they start to use shells not only as armor, but also for housing and ambushing their prey. By being enclosed around the shell, the octopus lays waiting patiently for the right moment for a potential prey to walk by closely before it drops the shell and latches onto a lone crab. By using its brutal kraken-like strength, the prey is overwhelmed to resist until the octopus starts to inject a complete paralysis venom along with a digestive enzyme to soften the body, leaving behind only the empty shell. Cuttlefish's hypnotizing power. Perhaps one of the most unique ways one marine animal hunts for food belongs to the cuttlefish. While the octopus is known for its camouflage, the cuttlefish also has the same ability. But the cuttlefish's camouflage has an unexpected twist. It can arrange its cells in a colorful variety and move it in a holographic way. The cuttlefish's most favorite dinner choice is crab, and despite its hard skeleton, the crab often succumbs to the cuttlefish's attacks. So when this cuttlefish locks in on a prey, it ruffles its body and pulls out the most unexpected move ever, a layered show of colors which move in a literal hypnotizing fashion. Dazzled by the bright show, the naive creature watches in awe, mesmerized by the alien-like exhibit. The crab even follows the cuttlefish, no longer aware of its intentions. The mighty show begins. The cuttlefish continues enthralling the crab, which eventually stops moving and is too focused on the spectacular movement to realize it has booked a first-class ticket to its end. The cuttlefish's exotic display is so bewitching that it mentally occupies the crab, rendering it thoughtless and moveless. The whole process may seem slow to us, but for the cuttlefish, time is of the essence. Its glorious display must take all the time in the world, because it is slowly convincing the crab to forget the cuttlefish is a predator. Slowly, the cuttlefish approaches the crab, and when it has confirmed the crustacean is too fascinated to move, the cuttlefish makes its mark and snatches the crab in its mouth. Dolphins' hunting strategy. Although quite capable of finding their food, these formidable dolphins have taken a lazier but smarter route. They encircle and follow a massive stingray, which is capable of knocking them out Point. with a single blow. Perfect. These dolphins rely on the stingray's amazing ability to sniff out food. The stingray crawls over the reef. At last, the stingray halts and slows down. It has found food. From the shadows, the small body of a rare catch attempts to flee. An octopus trying its best to find another hiding spot. But the octopus can't hide for long. The stingray locates it, and that's exactly when the dolphin strikes. In a swift motion, the dolphin yanks the octopus from within the seabed long before the stingray can react. But this isn't the only way a dolphin catches food. In some cases, the dolphin can lay out a wicked trap, quite literally. The dolphin swims on the muddy seabed, billowing clouds of dust from its tail. 
the dolphin continues swimming until it forms a circular, dusty boundary. The clouds of dust look exactly like walls and become nets designed to trap naive fish, which remain trapped in the circle and are eaten. Obnoxious Crocodile Misadventures While crocodiles have a strong, massive body, they make use of water as a cover as their reach is limited. For instance, this unsuspecting cheetah who came towards a water source in hopes to quench its thirst was suddenly ambushed oh, by a huge oh. croc that dragged the inexperienced cheetah into the water to limit its chances of escape. Oftentimes, animals like these wild pigs tend to lose their caution, giving these mean reptiles just the right opportunity to strike. <laughs> Aside from thirst, Crocodiles target any animals that take the path through the water, regardless of size. With them having the strongest jaws on the planet, they stop at nothing and would even make a meal out of a herd of giraffes by attacking them from all sides, or a family of elephants taking a detour, where the crocodiles overpower one of the baby elephants. Apart from poking their snouts around, crocs often face serious disputes to all-out brawls with the hippos that also have territories nearby and tend to be aggressive. Crocodiles often gang up on the hippos to outnumber them, and sometimes they even look for chances to feast on the young hippos. In conjunction with them having the strongest bite, they perform death rolls and easily tear apart the thickest layers of the hippo's flesh. <laughs> Gangs of monkeys on pack of dogs. While many hunting stories begin with a search for food, some take a more personalized nudge. It all began in 2021 in India's Bead, Maharashtra, when a pack of stray dogs mercilessly lashed at a baby monkey. The baby monkey had either wandered into their territory or was simply a victim of wrong place, wrong time. From above a roof, a group of helpless monkeys watched, but the ruthless dogs did not stop their attack. Each of the dogs grabbed the baby monkey's body pulling it and biting it until the monkey could no longer hold on. The poor monkey tragically passed away. The demise of the monkey was understandably heartbreaking. And while it took months for the monkeys to grieve, they did not forget the tragedy and decided to unleash full vengeance. Thus began a months-long gang war between the troops of monkeys and countless stray dogs. The monkeys were not ready to forgive and forget. So they attacked numerous stray dogs and puppies, ruthlessly destroying them. The monkeys managed this by attacking streets, harassing the dogs, and even parkouring from one point to another to keep chase. While you may think the ferocious attack stopped there, the monkeys were joined by neighboring primates, all banding together against the common enemy. The gang war escalated, and the horde of monkeys reached urban areas, where they continued their actions until around 250 puppies lost their lives. Gradually, the monkeys stopped the terrifying riot, but only when they were satisfied with their revenge. Orca's Extraordinary Hunting Technique A vicious predator, the orca is known to hunt in groups, a successful strategy which rarely fails. Near icy shores, the orca often has to devise unique strategies to reach food that is resting on land, like this seal. After coming up with a plan, and led by a matriarch, an orca pod synchronizes their movement to deliver a devastating blow to the ice that's holding a pack of seals. The powerful jolt breaks the ice, isolating the seal pack. The orchestration continues until the orcas finally push a seal into the water. Here, the seal's attempt to escape are futile, and it soon becomes dinner. But when an orca meets its prey in open waters, its hunting tactics change and even becomes playful. In a unique turn of events, the orcas whistle, presumably to let the pod know of their position. But this echolocation technique allows it to pinpoint on its latest target. In this case, dolphins. The unsuspecting marine prey swims together and splashes the water with fun. The orcas begin by driving one dolphin away from the rest. Here, the orcas display a rather sadistic behavior. Instead of chomping away on the caught prey, they chase it, tagging it to one another solely for fun. 
Sometimes, the orcas will even punt their prey, throwing them above the water as high as 80 feet. <laughs> Finally, the orca rams the dolphin, indicating it is done playing. The exhausted dolphin gives up on her own and succumbs to the orca's stunning power play. <laughs> Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. Crabs and Octopus Octopus are highly intelligent creatures, so they're not easy to catch. But this group of spider crabs figured out the best way to ensure they had their dinner, chasing the octopus together. The crabs all crawl in clusters in an attempt to protect each other, but it's also a joint effort to detect food. When one spider crab finds food, like an octopus, it knows it can't get to the target alone. So the army of spider crabs surrounds the octopus and employs a simple strategy, to pull its limbs. This unique strategy works on some animals, but the poor octopus gets the brunt of it. Each crab chooses a limb, in this case a tentacle, while one holds down the head. They then begin to pull mercilessly until they tear it apart. But what happens if the tables turn? A giant octopus and its impressive ability to scan every crevice is a promising threat for crabs, and they don't need an army to hunt. The octopus blends with the environment, putting on camouflage and awaits its prey. The octopus initiates its attack and casually encases the crabs in its tentacles. It happens so quickly, the crab can't do anything. But the attack doesn't end here. The octopus restricts the crab's pincers. In a terrifying move, the octopus flips the crab upside down, engulfing it within itself, and slowly starts to suck out its flesh from the belly. The octopus effortlessly eats the crab, but with such a heavy force, it breaks the crab's shell. And when it's done eating, the octopus leaves this shell as a reminder of the horrific tragedy. Destructive Mantis Shrimp Mantis shrimp are one of the most dangerous of all the crustaceans, not just by what it's capable of, but rather by its unsuspecting threat. Take this octopus, for example, who thought it could feast onto this long, juicy shrimp, until the mantis shrimp delivers a punching strike that's as fast as a bullet with nobody that told it about those punches. The octopus is forced to abandon its pursuit for the mantis shrimp. With these crustaceans here having the fastest lethal strike more than any predator on the planet, paired with sophisticated vision, they can also be used to hunt prey. Unlike most animals, both its eyes can work independently looking for prey until it finds this helpless crab. With the mantis having snuck up onto the crab, it delivers a punch from the ace of its hammer claws that is 50 times faster than a human eye can blink. The blow is so powerful that it breaks the crab's limbs apart, never knowing what had struck it, along with the friction that makes the surrounding water boil instantly. In another instance, when a peacock mantis shrimp decides to have a hermit crab on the menu, it immediately takes refuge in the shell, not knowing that its efforts are futile. With the mantis shrimp desperate for a meal, it starts to go berserk onto the shell, letting out its destructive capability, breaking apart the shell, and feasting on the crab using its built-in cutlery tools. Eel grabbing crab. It seems crabs aren't as <clears throat> tough as they seem, because they're a quick meal for eels. Most eels begin their hunt from the shallow shores, where spotting crabs is an easy gig. The eels will slide into nooks and crannies and drive the crab out. And even when a crab jumps to shore, the eel doesn't give up. Not many know the eel doesn't only look like a snake, but it can move like one, and that too on land. It quickly reaches the crab and suddenly grabs it, devouring it within seconds. The same fate meets lobsters and other crustaceans because their pincers are no match for the eel's strong jaws. But even if an eel's opponent is a fleshy animal, like an octopus, it's an easy tussle, because the moray eel is much stronger than imagined. In the depth of the ocean, the octopus has multiple hiding spots, but the eel has a certain knack for discovering them. The eel traverses the reefs, exploring the surface and every fissure with its body, and, quite smartly, chooses to ignore difficult adversaries like urchins. 
almost always the eel is successful in its search when it detects an octopus. It doesn't waste a second in striking. The octopus tries to escape, but the eel's grip is no joke. It yanks the octopus outside and twists it. The octopus even inks it, but the eel is relentless. The eel rolls its body to pull out the octopus, in a similar fashion to the infamous technique used by alligators and crocodiles. Finally, the octopus gives up and drops its futile attempts. The eel recognizes its defeat and casually swims away to continue munching it in seclusion. Head first into snow. In the wilderness areas of North America, animals such as this fox face a tough challenge of survival in the ocean of snow, but it actually requires a completely different tradition of hunting. Most of the rodents lay hidden under the snow, but this way of hunting may seem hopeless. But these foxes aren't just gambling either. Before diving headfirst into the snow, it concentrates on the movement sounds created by the mice that are moving deep within the snow and uses its sensitive hearing capabilities to narrow down a vector of attacking points. Oftentimes, they aren't able to pinpoint the exact whereabouts of the prey, and it takes a few attempts for them to plot the exact trajectory to dive headfirst into the snow for the capture. Hyenas versus Lioness Most carnivore animals are strong enough to hunt a prey of their own, but when it comes to hyenas, they always hunt in groups. Lions and hyenas often encounter and harass one another in the wild. They both have developed a sense of rivalry that seems to be a part of their DNA. But this incident led to an all-out war between the hyenas and lions. Now, despite the lions being bigger and stronger, they stand no chance against a team of hyenas, as they have a track record of killing lions. However, this group of hyenas ran into a young lioness that appeared to be either injured or pregnant, or both, and was alone, painting her to be the perfect target for hyenas, who first exhausted her of the energy before attacking and eating her alive. Hours later, the pride of lions that were searching for the missing lioness discovered her remains, while the clan of hyenas were still nearby. With several male lions in sight, the hyenas began to retreat, so much that they lost track of their pack leader as the enraged lions managed to capture it along with a young hyena. After realizing how the lioness of their pride was dealt with, the lions choked the captured hyenas on the neck with all their hate. With severe casualties on both sides, things heated up to a whole new level. With their pack leader now deceased by the lions, they regrouped to counterattack the lions, making a scene of a war waged by both attacking each other. The war was so intense that it resulted in fatalities on both sides after several days of brawling. Two dozen hyenas lost their lives, with many left with critical injuries. But on the lion's side, one of them was found to have had its hind legs bitten off and eaten. Probably by those hyenas. <laughs> Stoat dances to capture prey. Imagine a ruthless creature stumbling along your path, and instead of relying on its strong jaws or fierce claws, it decides to take you down by dancing, such as the distinct way this animal attacks. The stoat might look cute and cuddly, but in the wild, it has developed a tenacious attitude, especially when it comes to hunting. But the way a stoat hunts is quite peculiar. At first, it locks onto its prey, which can be twice its size, and often is the unfortunate rabbit. The stoat begins the hunt by stealthily stalking the rabbit, tracking its every move, hoping to isolate it from other bunnies. Once the selected hare is alone, the stoat quickly rushes over to the creature. While the stoat has enough power in its jaws to attack a rabbit, it often needs to get creative, at least until the stoat knows the rabbit can't escape. To accomplish this, the stoat initiates a rapid series of dance moves. It spins around, hops from one spot to another in a jack-in-the-box way, and even prances close enough to its prey. The weasel's jubilant moves are too enchanting for the rabbit to ignore, and the furry creature can't help but stare at the dancing predator in front of it. The sick moves are irresistible, and before the rabbit knows it, the stoat gradually moves closer and closer until the rabbit is just inches away. Even if the rabbit tries to move, it's too late. The stoat has caught up to its victim. With a single jab, the stoat grabs the rabbit and bites deep into the bone. 
instantly crushing it. Bobbit Worm While it's much more common for fish to eat worms, in a not-so-parallel universe, the Bobbit Worm hunts fish. The Bobbit Worm is a unique species. With its vibrantly colored body and sharp jaws, this worm can snatch prey within seconds. The Bobbit Worm digs itself in a burrow deep on the sandy bed of the ocean, and here it remains for most of its life. And it waits for an unsuspecting target like this fish, which is an easy catch. To attract the fish, the worm slowly pokes out one of its five antennas and moves it, pretending to be a much tinier worm, one that the fish would usually eat. Attracted by the movement, the fish pounces on what it thinks is a small worm, but is actually part of the bobbit worm. In less than a second, the bobbit worm pulls the fish into the sand with its powerful jaws. Usually, the bobbit's grip is too firm to let go, but even if the fish escapes the first latch, the bobbit's sharp teeth leave a snaring scar on its side. The cut makes it difficult for the fish to swim away, and the bobbit worm strikes again. But this time, it pulls it deep within its hull and buries it with itself. From there, the bobbit enjoys its meal. Even much bigger opponents like a cuttlefish are no match for the bobbit's ensnaring power. Just like before, all the bobbit worm needs to do is lie in wait and pounce when the cuttlefish least expects it. Fish Hunting Sea Snail the geographer cone snail, one of the most terrifying creatures to exist. Although it looks harmless, the cone snail has a toxic defense, a surge of venom which can slaughter any fish it touches. The cone snail lurks deep within the vents of coral reefs, and sometimes buries itself in the sand. From here, it pokes out its siphon, an extension which helps it breathe and detect prey. When schools of fish approach the snail, it pushes itself out and begins to crawl the ocean floor. The cone snail openly raids the floor, not in a daring attempt, but because it's confident in its hunting abilities. From a certain distance, the cone snail approaches the fish and shoots a mix of chemical toxins. This toxic shot is actually the insulin in the cone snail's body, which combines with hundreds of other toxins and is vomited out by the cone snail. Sometimes, the cone snail will even strike the fish with the venom directly. The venom quickly dissolves in the water and is breathed in by the fish. Once the toxins reach the fish, it is impossible to make an escape because this poisonous vomit has the power to paralyze anything it touches. The fish cannot move. The rest is an easy game. The cone snail calmly approaches the fish and extends its mouth, creating an inescapable net. Within the net, the fish is slowly eaten alive, and it can do nothing but watch in horror. Carnivorous Undercover Caterpillar For many insects, it's impossible to go through the barriers in an ant colony, but it's an achievable task for this caterpillar, which puts on a shroud of deceit and cunningness to infiltrate the ant home. The caterpillar's plan is well executed. It begins when it releases a sticky substance called honeydew. The honeydew is no stranger to ants. Many ants feed on the same chemical released by other insects, but this caterpillar purposefully releases it to attract the ant. Once it has the ant's undivided attention, the caterpillar raises its body and swells with air. This is the caterpillar's great attempt to seem bigger and mimic the queen ant, one that is blindly respected by the others. To make its disguise even more convincing, the caterpillar releases the air creating a sound that the queen ant typically makes when she is in distress. Normally, the caterpillar would feast on the ant, but it is far too big for the caterpillar. Instead, the caterpillar has a smaller but much more feasible idea, and to put it into fruition, it needs the ant to adopt it. It sounds impossible, but the ant, overwhelmed with the distress signals and the scent, takes the bait and drags the supposedly injured caterpillar home. The caterpillar repeats its actions and convinces the entire ant colony of its fake identity. Once accepted, the caterpillar is free to roam, but it chooses the heavenly abode of ant larvae and becomes carnivorous. The caterpillar will spend months disguised as an ant, feasting on the never-ending buffet of ant larvae, and will drop its act when it no longer needs it. 
How Archerfish Hunts Insects We've seen other animals and humans fish, but have you ever seen a fish pick up a rod? This is the Archerfish, a gorgeous species that's mostly found in Asia and Australia, and are the rare type of fish that hunts for food beyond the waves. The Archerfish is named so because of its impressive ability to shoot water out of its mouth, and with such force, it knocks down anything that it touches. Blessed with this ability, the Archerfish has to patiently sit like a fisherman to feed. The mission begins when the Archerfish approaches the shallow shore, and nestles somewhere close to a tree or a plant just beneath the top wave. From here, it waits. Until finally, an insect matching its appetite hops onto a branch, like this cricket that is unaware it has just walked the plank. The Archerfish waits for the unsuspecting insect to settle down. Until then, it positions itself in the water from where targeting the cricket will be easier. When it has perfected the aim, the Archerfish gulps water and propels it towards the cricket. And bullseye! It hits the cricket right on its body, and it falls into the water, from where the archer easily munches away. The same trick works with other and much bigger insects too. But when facing spiders, well, the Archerfish has to account for the target scuttling away. And refraction. After a couple of misses, the Archerfish finally takes aim and succeeds. Even the spider's sticky defenses are useless against the Archerfish's aim. The spider topples into the water, where it becomes the Archerfish's food. It's time for today's open discussion. Squids and octopus are often hunted by sperm whales and have little to no defense against these giant predators. During an underwater expedition, a remotely operated vehicle noticed a huge octopus minutes before it was attacked by a sperm whale. These whales are able to track prey using natural sonar-like capabilities that bounce back waves of sound, revealing the whereabouts of its prey. It was at this moment when the octopus used its intelligence by thinking outside the box, and not only saved its life, but also took the life of the whale while making a breakthrough for its kind, by blocking the blowhole of the whale and limiting the whale's ability to breathe. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.